Honorable Minister of Agriculture and other ministers present, Honorable Commissioners of Agriculture, the Executive Director of the National Root Crops Research Institute, and other directors present, traditional rulers, representatives of research and development institutions, universities, media, farmers associations, other protocols observed. While I'm unable to join you in person today, be assured that the Global Harvest Plus family rejoices as Nigeria celebrates the official release of three new varieties of cassava. What makes these varieties unique is that they provide a crucial nutrient which builds immunity to diseases and improves vision, thus making a population healthier and more able to contribute to Nigeria's national development. The nutrient I'm talking about is of course vitamin A, and most of you are aware of its importance to good health. Millions of Nigerians, irrespective of age, gender, or geographic location, get less vitamin A than they require. Women and children remain the most vulnerable. According to a national nutrition survey conducted from 2001 to 2003, almost 20% of pregnant women and about 30% of children under the age of five are deficient in vitamin A. To address the problem, since 2000, Nigeria has mandated the fortification of staple foods such as wheat flour and vegetable oil with vitamin A. Supplements have also been given to children during national immunization days. While these efforts are to be commended, unless we are willing to change the way we play the game, we cannot win. Harvest Plus believes that more direct and cheaper access to vitamin A through the consumption of fufu, gari, and other foods made from the new cassava varieties will complement the government's current efforts to address this health problem. About 8 million Nigerian farmers grow cassava and 100 million Nigerians eat it daily. There is no better way to deliver the nutrients that people need to be healthy than through more nutritious foods. The release of these new conventionally bred cassava varieties is the first step in that direction. They are similar to the cassava that farmers are already growing and are productive and high yielding. The only difference is that the root flesh is yellow because of the valuable beta carotene it contains. This beta carotene is converted to vitamin A when the cassava is cooked and eaten. Now let's go back in time for a moment. When Harvest Plus was created in 2003, our vision was to improve the nutrition of millions of people through the staple foods that they eat daily. Our approach, from upstream research right down to reaching the farmer and consumer in one project, was new. For the first time, we also brought agricultural and nutrition scientists to the same table to work together in this endeavor. Progress on cassava was, at times, slow and difficult. In the beginning, we were not finding varieties with high enough beta carotene content in our seed banks. At one point, we almost dropped cassava from the breeding program. Donors and our board were also encouraging us to focus on fewer crops. In 2006, we met with cassava breeders from all of our partner institutions and warned that if we could not make faster progress, cassava would be dropped. None of us had a good feeling leaving that meeting. Fortunately, a breakthrough was made in the next 12 months, followed by even more breakthroughs. Today, the release of yellow cassava is one of our early shining accomplishments. See, so we are here today because of the perseverance of dozens of scientists from many disciplines working as a team across many countries. They refuse to give up. With a special interest, I congratulate the scientists in Nigeria at the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, Ibadan, and the National Root Crops Research Institute, Umidike, and their various partners for a job well done. I also note the contribution of the International Center for Tropical Agriculture in Colombia and Embrapa, the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation. 
Scientists from these institutes and many others have been united in their common vision to help people lead healthier and more productive lives. Let me also take this opportunity to thank the research station field workers who, in the words of one of our scientists, quote, have shown up at 6 a.m. during the harvest season over the past eight years without a single complaint, end quote, to do the work of cassava breeding. Without our dedication, there would be no launch. Today we stand on the threshold of a new era, one in which agriculture will reclaim its rightful role in improving nutrition and health. The International Food Policy Research Institute shared this vision, which is at the heart of our work at Harvest Plus, at its 2020 conference in India last year. Recently, the CGIAR has also reorganized itself to work collaboratively through thematic research programs. One of these programs is Agriculture for Improved Nutrition and Health. I'm proud to say that the work Harvest Plus has supported in this area has yielded good fruits, or should I say, roots, stems, and seed. For example, orange flesh sweet potato was released in Uganda and Mozambique beginning in 2007. In some regions, this resulted in a doubling of vitamin A intakes among women and children. This orange root crop has also been introduced to other countries, including Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and of course, Nigeria. In addition, new maize varieties that provide more vitamin A are undergoing performance trials in Zambia. Once these are released as early as this year, we will have three staple food crops that together could significantly reduce vitamin A deficiency across much of Africa in the decade to come. And there are other crops we have worked on, such as plantain and cowpeas, that are also part of the Nigeria food basket. But we are here today to celebrate the release of vitamin A cassava. There is much work ahead, but I know that our partners in Nigeria are dedicated to multiplying this new cassava for dissemination to more than 25,000 farmers by next year. By mid-2014, Nigerian farmers should be harvesting and feeding vitamin A cassava to their families, reaching about 150,000 people. From then on, the sky is indeed the limit. Friends, today Nigeria is paving the way to reap the nutritional benefits that productive vitamin A cassava varieties can provide. We applaud the leadership demonstrated by the Minister of Agriculture in launching these new varieties in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and other key partners at the highest level. This sets the tone for a new era of collaboration, an era in which agriculture is being positioned to improve health and well-being of the Nigerian people through food crops that your farmers grow. We at Harvest Plus and the CGIR centers that have worked on cassava support you as you take the lead in seeding a better life for all Nigerians. Long live Nigeria, long live Harvest Plus and its partners. Thank you. <laughs>